Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a get ready with me and kind of chat and just kind of an update because as you guys know, I think it's been like literally seven months since I've been on here and so much has changed. I feel like hopefully I've changed. I feel a little bit weird doing this because I haven't done a video like this in so long, but I'm really excited. To start, I'm going in with my Ultra Repair, Hy Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. This is my holy grail now. I'm obsessed with it. I will say it is really weird filming a YouTube video versus a TikTok because TikTok has been all of the rage right now. I have been trying to post a lot on there. The reason I've been so inactive lately on YouTube is because I did not have any storage on my old phone. I literally had to get a brand new phone just so that I could film videos. That's how much I love filming videos for you guys. I just couldn't take it anymore. So I'm going in with my Patrick Ta palette. Whoa, you can see me. And I have been working with them for a while and I am absolutely obsessed with their products. I have so many of their different products. I think I have like almost everything. I think this palette is my favorite. Look at the colors on this thing. It is, oh my God, you can see me. How do I make this so you can't see? Look at the, look at the colors. It is so, so pretty. What else can I talk about? I am finishing off my senior year in college which is absolutely crazy to me before you ask i don't know what i'm doing after college i mean i have like a subtle idea of what i want to do but i don't have any plans um which is slightly terrifying but i know it is just a part of the process and everything's gonna be fine i have been doing this makeup look for i don't even know how long i think since all of college it is just like my go-to cute clean girl makeup look. I always start with my eyes first so that I can clean everything up with foundation and concealer and then it kind of allows for me to be a little bit messier when I'm doing my eyeshadow. You guys are confused why I'm putting tape on my eyelid. I totally forgot to say something about that but it gives you this like perfectly crisp line. That's why I'm doing that. I don't know if you guys have been seeing the Charlotte Tilbury that went viral and then the e.l.f that one viral the elf i don't even know what it's called it's like a luminescent something i have been trying to get my hands on it for so long lucky for me my boyfriend got me this glow screen which i've never used but i know it's like one of the most popular products i have been putting this on underneath my foundation and it's so pretty and gives me the best glow ever so look at that it just gives the prettiest glow I'm also super obsessed with this NARS creamy concealer. I know that this has been popular for about like 10 years and I'm just now catching on to the wave, but I will never go back to another concealer. This is by far my favorite concealer and it really is like super creamy. I like to let that sit in my face. So I'm gonna turn the camera off because I look like a crazy person, but I'm gonna let it sit and then I'm gonna blend it out. Another trick that I've been doing is spraying my beauty blender with priming and setting spray. This just kind of lays everything into my skin a lot better. I can just blend everything out really nicely. I'm so excited to show you guys like all of my tricks that I've learned. I've learned most of these honestly from TikTok. Like I've learned so many tricks from TikTok, which I hate to say, but they work really, really well and would have never learned them otherwise. I'm going to show you guys my best contouring hack. This stuff is really, really pigmented. So I don't go in like how they do on TikTok, but normally you would draw a whole line and go straight down. Since this is so pigmented, I literally just do that. And bear with me, it's gonna look good in a second. Like wherever the lines go. And then I love contouring my nose like that. Hello. And then just a little line. So once you look like a doll, this is literally the head of an e.l.f. brush that I got like 10 years ago and I just have been too easy to buy a new one. So I've just been using this one, but I literally just start blending this up to give like a super chiseled look, look at that. I don't think there's like an attractive way to blend out your face. <laughs> See that contour? Perfect. That's exactly what you want. I don't know if you guys remember. I think I reviewed this on here. It's the NYX Wonder Stick. It's a highlight and contour stick. I literally never use the contour. But I do like using the highlight for when I contour my nose. I'm going to the Bahamas actually in like two weeks. So I have been on a major Pilates grind in the last like couple of weeks. 
and I have found my calling. If you guys do not like working out or lifting like super heavy weights, Pilates is 100% like what you're needing because I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I'm really hoping I get ripped from it. Another new product that I've been loving is the Clinique Chubby Sticks. I used to use these all the time when I was like 15 and I found this literally at TJ Maxx. Another trick I learned is put your blush on the top of your nose, not like on the bottom. It gives you more of like the sun-kissed look. Anyways, I have been loving this stuff and you can use it on your lips too, but I mainly just put it on my nose. Okay, this is my favorite part of my makeup routine. I don't know if you guys have seen these, the little powder puffs. They're really so cute, look at that. You take a loose setting powder, you put them on like this, and then you just go in and set your under eyes. I have tried setting my under eyes so many times and nothing works as good as this. So this will forever be the way that I do it now. I literally get a pack of like eight for like $10 on Amazon. I also have been really into kind of like doing that. I don't really know what it does, but it looks good. Oh, that was the HD Flawless, which I also got this at TJ Maxx. It's crazy. Like if you dig through TJ Maxx makeup, like you can find some really good stuff. While I'm waiting for this to set, this is my new setup that I have going on here, and it is my favorite thing ever. I also got this from Amazon. It's like this really nice mirror. It has like three different settings. You can do like a cool, a warm, and then like, I like this one the best. And then you can also change how dark and bright it gets. Like, are you kidding me? So I was doing the little wax slash soap brows for a minute. I think that this just looks better on my face shape. I love how some people do the soap brows. But I just, I look like I just woke up out of bed when I do it. Like I said earlier, I've been obsessed with Patrick Ta products. It's like eyebrow gel. The only thing I will say that I don't love is that as it's gotten a little bit older, it has became more like stringy, like you can't see it, but there is like a huge string from the bottle and that's kind of annoying. I think that this mascara went viral on TikTok. I don't know if you guys have ever used the telescopic mascara. I hated it so, so, so much. I literally kept using it because I just like, I couldn't find a better one and I finally ran out of it. And then for Christmas, I got new mascara. This one is just so nice. Look at that. It's so pretty. If you guys didn't know this, you can take an eyebrow pencil and clean up any mascara that got on your lid. I've seen so many mixed reviews about this Benetton. I bought it like a long time ago and like, I like it. I wouldn't say it's anything special. I don't think it's worth the money. It doesn't seem to last on my lips. Oh my God, what did I just do? I've actually never tried this before. It's Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss by Essence. I love Essence, so I'm excited to try this. Oh my God, that is really pretty. Okay. I think that is everything. This is the final makeup look. Let me get a close-up for you guys to see. I feel like it's very flirty looking. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. You definitely are going to be seeing more of me because now I have storage on my phone. So let me know if you guys have any requests of any videos you guys want to see. And I will talk to you guys next time. You gotta be comedian. Girl, I need to see your face.